Now to research being done on COVID-19 right here in South Florida. So interesting. The UM study finding the virus can be transmitted from another, from a mother to a baby through the placenta, and it can lead to brain injury. Local 10 News reporter Syra Onwar is live with what that means for pregnant women, and it's a pretty frightening situation. It really is, but the researchers made sure to let us know that this isn't something to panic or be scared about. The big question that scientists here are answering is, can pregnant women's COVID-19 infections cause brain injuries in their newborn babies? The scientists here again answering that question in a big research study that was just published today in a major medical journal. We all know that COVID has had a profound effect on the global health of uh, people around the world and more so in pregnant women. New findings by doctors and researchers at the University of Miami Health System published today in Pediatrics Journal showing that COVID-19 can cross into the placenta of pregnant women and cause brain injury in newborns. And they say that's been shown in two cases treated in the NICU here in Miami. We found evidence that the, uh, that the virus indeed uh, crossed the placenta and uh, infected the brain. Both babies were born fairly early into the pandemic during the Delta wave before vaccines were available. Both mothers contracted COVID in their second trimester. The babies exhibited symptoms like seizures and brains that stopped growing shortly after birth. One baby died at 13 months, the COVID virus still present in the baby's brain. The UM clinicians say they've seen hundreds of babies born to COVID positive mothers. These two cases are rare, and while they don't want to cause panic, they are important case studies. The message here is that most women who contract COVID go on to have healthy babies, okay? But there is a subpopulation of people who have babies who are sick. This is not to panic, but we do think that these are the extremes. And we do think if you've had COVID during pregnancy, it's something you should tell your pediatrician. And maybe those babies need a little closer follow-up. When asked what needs to happen now that this discovery is out there. We're doing a lot of work in the laboratory on the animal side so that we can help understand the COVID pathology and also um, develop uh, therapeutics for it. So again, these doctors say they're not trying to be alarmists, they're not trying to scare anyone, but they do want to get this message out there that COVID shouldn't just be treated like a nuisance illness. It should just it should be taken seriously, and there's an urgent need for therapies and medicines for specific cases like this, and also to take preventative measures like vaccination. That is the very latest live here in Miami. Syra Onwar, Local 10 News.